find I'm slipping and falling and I end up calling you. I should grow up, but this one little part of me just doesn't want to hang up. I drive to the mall, I find a payphone and I slide those quarters in. Dial tone, ten digits later, baby. Let me hear you ring, ring, ring. Thank you, El Hombre, for that excellent intro music. You're listening to Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. I'm your host, Mr. Dabalina, and guess what? We're going to listen to a few prank calls in this episode, beginning with telling random people that I don't like them, which is really fun to do. You should try it sometime. Just call up a person, introduce yourself, and let them know that you don't like them. It's weird how offended people seem to get by this. Hello. Hello, Mr. Williams? Yes? Hey there, this is uh, Roy from the city of Boulder. Yes. I'm, I'm in the, the uh, city planning office and zoning board, Okay, all that stuff. And I, I was just looking through my records here, and uh, I just needed to call and let you know that I don't like you. Okay. And, um, yeah, I guess that's all. Okay, Roy from the city of Boulder. Is this an official uh, announcement, or is this just you personally? Well, it's just me personal, but I'm going to go ahead and write it in the file, just kind of in the margin. And put it back in the file okay, cabinet. Be sure, be sure and sign it because I really feel like you are exceeding your authority in doing this. Well, I don't think it's the business of the city of Boulder to officially like or dislike anybody. Yeah, but I can have a, an opinion. You know, I just I just don't like you. Okay, do you have a reason for it, or is it just random? Uh, well, I wouldn't call it random. You know, just some people you just don't like them not really a reason how do you know i don't believe i've ever met you i don't know how you would uh, have arrived at any sort of an opinion i don't know all i know is i don't like you hmm. well that's it that really sounds pretty unconsidered yeah yeah I'm sorry. What is your position? Should I worry that you dislike me? Oh, no, no. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just a regular office worker here. I was just going through the files. And, and, okay. And, and your file popped up here, and I don't know. I just don't like you. Roar. Okay. And you're in city planning. Yeah, yes. Yeah, planning and zoning. Okay. But again, is it recent or is it long term? Oh, I don't think I'll ever like you. Okay. No, I mean, as a, did you acquire this dislike recently? Oh, um, no, I've never liked you. Okay. Have you, when did you first heard about me? Uh, when I was reading this file, uh, a couple, oh. of, about an hour ago, before lunch. Which file was that? Um... Well, I can't. I can't give you information about our private personal files. You might be an identity thief or something. No, you've called me. If you don't know who I am, why, why I, do you dislike me? I know who you are. I have your file. Okay, and why are you going through my? What? You hit a touch why tone. Why are you going through my file? Since this is personal, are you using? City files for your own personal uh, vendetta? Oh perhaps? no, no, of course not. No, I, this is my job. I'm just going through the file and marking off some items, and uh, they wanted me to prepare the file, so I'm preparing files today. I'm, I'm going through tons of files today. No, this is okay. all. This is all totally legit. This is my job. Okay, I believe it's your job. Uh, is it part of your job to call me up and announce that you don't like me? No, of course not. That'd be ridiculous. I, I just I just don't like you, and I, I just wanted to call you up and let you know I don't like you. Okay, Roy, in the City of Boulder Planning Department, I since we've never met, I don't really see you have any call to dislike me. Okay, well, it doesn't even matter, because we don't know each other, so who cares if I don't like right. you? I'm just some random person. You, you know enough about me to call me up. Well, yeah, because it's part of my job. You know, I, I'm going through these files, and 
I'm, I'm, is it part of your job to call people up and tell them you don't like them? Oh, no, we've already been over this, remember? I, I said no. Oh, okay. So you're just doing this on your own recognizance. Yeah, but I'm on the clock, you know? I'm, I'm working. Okay. It, it's supposed to be just a quick phone call, and you're just really dragging it out. Well, when somebody calls me out from the city of Boulder and says... They don't like me for some unspecified reason. That leads me to the next question is, what do you propose to do about it? Oh, I'm not going to do anything about it. I, I don't have time like that. Come on. I, I'm, I'm just a city worker. Why would well, I do... You, you have time. Stop hitting and those again, touch tones. That's annoying. Your job is apparently to go through these files and do something with them. And I'm concerned that your personal feelings to me, which seem to have very little basis, could lead you to take some action. No, that that's just silly. That's just you being paranoid. I'm not going to do no, anything. I'm not paranoid. Just, I'm, you're the one who called me. Well, this just, phone call comes out of the blue from somebody I don't know. Well, just because I don't like you doesn't mean I have to do anything about it. Now, aren't there people you no, don't like? No, it doesn't mean you're... It does not imply you're not going to do anything either. Well, that's a stupid way to think. Aren't there people in the world that you don't like? Uh, not too many of them. Okay, well, you know, there's plenty of people I don't like. Justification. I've never done you know, anything Roy, about it. I really, uh, I really am concerned by this. When I... somebody calls me up, I... Why don't you let me speak to your supervisor, because I'd like to know more about this. I did. I missed what you just said there, because you're hitting touch tones with your face. It's just another... No, I'm not. Yes, well, you, you keep hitting touch right, tones. I'll restate this. Okay. Roy, what? this concerns me. I'd like to speak to your supervisor about it. Oh, he's not here right now. I'll be, speak to his supervisor, then. No, they both went together. They went to the video store to return a movie. You're sounding rather evasive. No, no, I'm just saying they went... To, listen to you, you're so paranoid. They just went to the video store to return a movie. They're probably going to stop by Starbucks, and then they're going to be back. Okay. What? Well, would you leave a message for one or other of them to give me a call when they get back? Well, I'm not going to do something for someone I don't like, and someone who's accusing me of things, and trying to turn this into some big threat, like I'm going to do something. I'm not going to do anything. I can well, ha- I you can... have called me up and made a threat. You're, you're acting like it's a crime to have an opinion. No, but it might be a crime to express that opinion on company time okay. based on company information. Well, whatever. This isn't a threat. I'm just calling to let you know I don't like you. Once again. It's just an opinion. At some level, I don't care whether you like me or not, but I'd like to know why. Who knows? How about it sure seems like you, you care about it. Well, this is a kind of a random phone call. It wasn't random. I, I, just, I didn't just pick some random person from a list. How do I... Well, oh my god, quit hitting touch tones. That's just another reason I don't like you. I'm just, no, I'm, I'm not pushing touch tones. You keep hitting touch tones with your face, and you, do, you don't hear it or something. Oh, my, my face isn't any near, anywhere near the keyboard. Well, then, I don't know. They keep, you keep hitting touch tones. Well, all right. Well, I feel that way. I uh, will be pleased if this does not recur. Oh, yeah, I won't bother you again. I won't call you again. I just thought you should know. I just don't like you. Okay, well, perhaps I'm... Yeah, they're generating a certain amount for you. A certain amount of touch tones? I, I, I didn't... What was that? Uh, so I, perhaps I am generating a certain amount of dislike for you. Well, good. The feeling's mutual. I'm, I'm glad we both feel the same way. But you know what? I'm well, not going to act like I'm afraid you're going to come and get me or anything just because you have an no, opinion. I don't want you. Uh, what I would like to know more than anything else is why you feel this way. Uh, that seems unwarranted if we've never met, we've never had any interaction, and all you're doing is looking at my files. Yep. Hmm. Just n- no what reason. Is it in my file that you dislike? Is it something I said? 
No, nothing like that. Jeez, you're just you're you're blowing this all out of proportion. Look, I gotta get back to work before my supervisor gets back, and and I'm just sitting here chattering away on the phone. Okay, Roy. Right. I, I don't want to get fired. Well, I don't blame you. All right. Well, have a nice day, Mr. Williams. Well, Mr. Roy, uh, I'll uh, be curious to see if anything comes of this. Well, no, nothing's going to come of it. Quit being paranoid. You call me out of the blue and think I'm paranoid? Oh, my God. Here we go again. Look, I got to get going. I got work to do. Okay. Then go do your work. I will. I will. I'm going to finish filing. and I'm going to get going home early. Why not? Yep. All right, bye. All right, Roy. Once again, goodbye, Mr. Williams. Have a nice day. Have a fun day. I will. Thanks. 7-Eleven. Hi, this Hi. is Roy from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. I'm sorry, what? This is Roy from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Yes. Thank and, you. Uh, hi, who's this? Uh, Jessica. Oh, Jessica, I don't like you. Why? Um, I don't know. I just d don't like you. Okay. Um, yeah, I just called to let you know that, that I don't like you. Okay. Uh, how's your shift going? How's my what? How, how's your shift going? Good. I have customers. Can you hold? Uh, okay. Can I talk to a customer? It's for a customer survey. Um, sure. Okay. This is corporate, and they want to do a customer survey. Would you like to do a survey? Is it quick? Oh, yeah, it's very quick, and they get a free drink. Okay. Is, it, is this a customer? Yes, it is. Hey, before we get started, that girl that handed you the phone, her name's Jessica. Can you just tell her for me? Just tell her, th tell her I don't like her. I'm supposed to tell you he doesn't like you. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I just, I don't know why she just gets on my nerves, you know? <laughs> She's just one of those people. Can, can you tell her I really don't like her? Like, try to show her the emotion, like how much I dislike her. Um, no, if this really isn't a survey, I've got to go. Well, I don't have time. Just, Sorry. Can you just t tell her one more time, though? Just one more time. Oh, and the customer hung up on me. Damn it. Hello? Hi, Kay? Mm-hmm? Uh, is David around? Um, uh, yeah, may I ask who this is? It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Um, okay, um, well, um, could I help you, or? What for? I want to talk to David. Well, okay, Roy across the street. No. Uh, no, no. Okay. From the homeowners association. No, no. Yeah, I, I, I get you now. Well, okay. Now, sometimes he has a hard time talking, and so, um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Hold on, just a second. Okay. Great. Good evening. Hello, is this David? And she said I had a hard time talking. Yeah, she's full of shit, isn't she? She doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> You are in <laughs> I know. Fucking K. Ugh. Women, I tell you. Well, go ahead. I, I got a lot of time. Okay, well, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I don't like you. No, oh, well, that's all right. Yep. You just take a line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. What can I do for you? Oh, that's all. That's all. I just needed to let you know I don't like you. Okay, well, that's wonderful. Yep. As long that's, as you, as long as we're in agreement, that's perfect. No, that's for sure. Yep. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, no. That's it. You know, just just tell tell Kay to shut her mouth. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay. I will do that then. So tell her to stop you talking about you good... behind your back. Okay. You have a good night, sir. Thanks. You too. Okay, Roy. All right. Bye. Bye, bye then. Good old David, he's the best, no matter what Kay says.
Those were calls from 2016, and these next few calls, we're going to go back even further to 2015. These are those pranks where we leave notes on car windshields that say, sorry, I dinged your car with my phone number on them. And when they call me, they're treated to a really crazy story to tell all of their friends and family. It's like we're doing a free public service. Hi, Roy. My name is Shana, and I got a note on my car that says you accidentally dinged my car. And so I was just calling you. I appreciate the note. If I didn't see any terrible damage, so, you know, if you'd like to call me back, you can. My phone number is 360. Thank you. All right, let's call Shana. Hello? Hey, Shana, this is Roy. I left a note on your car. Oh, hi there. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? Pretty good. Good. When did you ding my car? Um, well, uh, we were trying to break, uh, not break in. My wife left her earrings in the back seat, and we were trying to get back in to get those out because we locked the door as we left. Of my car? Yeah, we were in the back seat. And, um, you know, just hanging out, making out and stuff. But then uh, one of her earrings was missing, so we saw it in, in your back seat. So we, uh, you know, we opened up the car door. And, I think and when, you have got the wrong car. Oh, no, it was definitely yours. It's just uh, when, we, when we opened up the car door, we used one of those Slim Jim tools, you know, and it kind of, we messed up and kind of scraped uh, part of the door, the back door. Of my car or your car? Your car. I wouldn't leave a note on your car if I damaged my own car. Okay, I must be confused. Where were you when this happened? Uh, we were just outside your car. And you were inside my car? Yeah, we were hanging out in the back. We were hot boxing. Okay, I don't know if you find this funny, but I don't. I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I've got no idea what you're talking about. No, I'm, I'm embarrassed that this time. happened. I'm, I'm really embarrassed. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying... We had to go back in and get her earrings. They're expensive earrings. You know? You, you, I, think that, I think that you've definitely got the wrong person in the wrong car. Because unless you were... What were you doing outside of my house? We, we were... It's just a thing we do to keep our marriage fresh. We just get into random people's cars. And we, we smoke marijuana together in the back seat with the windows up. And... Okay. Well, I'm going to report this to the police. Thank you so much. Why would you do that? Because there's no reason why you need to be in the back of my car, and I think that you're just trying to pull some sort of prank because there's no way you were in my car because it was locked. That means you had to break into it to begin with to get in there. Well, if you think it's a prank, why would you involve the police? Because it's not funny. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you're going to call the police because you don't have a sense of humor? Exactly. You don't need to be messing with me or messing with anything that has to do with my call. I'm just returning your call. You called me, Why so I'm were calling you, you back. Why of my car? Because we wanted to hotbox in a car and make out a little bit. So it's okay for you to hotbox in someone's car who's got a child in there? There was no child in the car. We would not have hotboxed in your car if there was a child in there. Then why were you in my car to begin with? Why would you leave you your child in the car problem, when you're not I'm in there? I'm sorry, but I'm not not dealing with this. Thank you. Why would you leave your kid in the car? Hello? Hey, Tony, this is Roy. I left a note on your car. Hi, Roy. How are you I'm doing good. today? I'm good. Okay, well, I when don't have time did, for when small did talk. take place? Where? Uh, you know, it was just where you were parked, and uh, I, I mistook your car for my ex-girlfriend's car. Oh, wow. So I just, I... I you know, just started ramming into it because I was pissed. You know, the memories just came flooding back. Okay. So, what what color car was it that you ran into? Uh, my car is kind of a maroon color. It's a smart car. And our car was. You don't know what color car you have, or what are you colorblind or well, something? Well, yeah, I, I. No, I know what color car I have. Well, I I'm just trying to figure out where you did this at. Oh, okay. Well, what does like if you, how how does that make a difference? Like where I did it at, what color your car was? Doesn't your car stay the same color no matter where you park? Yeah, it does really. Okay. So where do where do we go from here, buddy? I don't know. I was just pissed. So maybe you can apologize to me for dumping me. I thought it was my girlfriend's car. Okay, but it wasn't. I know. But can you just say, Roy, honey? 
I'm sorry that I broke up with you. I, can I say that? Could you? It would make me feel better. Well, Roy, honey, I'm sorry that I broke up with you. Oh, fuck you, bitch. You knew exactly what you were <laughs> there doing. There you go, Roy. Yeah. Whatever. So, okay. All right. I feel better now. Um, thank you. But my Tony. car is damaged, so what do I do? It's not really damaged because I drive a smart car. I don't think I even heard it when I rammed into the back. Hmm. But I do have damage to the back. Oh come on! Don't don't try and pull an insurance scam out of this. It's just a smart car. I can't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to. You, you know, it's, it's the only car that I have damage on is my Bentley. No, my my smart car suffered more damage than your car. So I think I should get your insurance information. Yeah. Right. Yep. You know, why don't you come by and we'll exchange information? Oh, that sounds like a threat. No, that's not a threat at all. Oh, that's a very thinly veiled threat. No, we're we're having, we're currently having an estate sale. There's no threat. Come oh, by, an estate we'll sale. What's, information. what's that code for? Like, you're gonna kill me with a shotgun? Uh, no. I know how people like you are. Do you? Yeah. Okay, Roy, well, well, I'll tell you what. I'll just get in touch with the police, and we'll take it from there. Good. I'm going to tell them that you threatened my life. Well, you tell them what you want. I will. You just watch me. Jeez. Trying to work things out, and he threatens me. Yes, Roy. I'm Mr. Beckstrom again from uh, New York. Uh, so I'm getting a call back from you guys on uh, what you plan on doing, the uh, damage on the wife's car. <laughs> Hello. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I left a note on your car. Oh, yes. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. It, it was an accident. <laughs> um, I know my husband was trying to get a hold of you. Yeah. Um, I think he, le he left his cell phone. He just wanted to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. I, you um, know, I, I was walking by, and I, I, thought, I thought I saw, like, a kid in the car seat. Um, so I, I was trying to open your car. I was trying to use a Slim Jim and, and pry it open and stuff. Um, but it turns out I just, I was just, I don't know. There's nobody in there. I, I opened up the car and I looked in and there's nobody in there. You opened my car up? Yeah, yeah, just to, to make sure there was no, no child in there. I thought there was a child locked in the car and it's kind of warm that day. No, I, I work at True Value. Oh, okay. I work there. That's where mostly the employees park. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There was no kid in there. It turns out, um, it's just I, I must have seen my own uh, reflection. I think that's what it was. I saw my own okay. reflection reflection in the window. Well, could you call my husband? He just wanted to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, I tried to call him and he wasn't picking up. Hey, um, I'm sorry. It's hard to hear you. Can you tell those kids in the background to shut the fuck up while we're talking? Excuse Excuse me? Tell Those that, are my grandkids. Oh, yeah. He's really annoying and really irritating. Can you just tell him to shut the fuck up? Because we're trying to talk. No, I will not tell my grandkids that. Just, just No, just just say it. Just say, shut the fuck up. And that, that'll that make him be quiet. That's that's what I do. It, it keeps him quiet. You got to say it with some force. Oh, well, force. that's really nice that you talk to your grandkids and use that type of language. Yeah, my kids and my grandkids. Well, no, that's not parroting at all. Yes, it is. It's it's asserting yourself, letting them know who's boss. And, uh, and, and, no, it's not. And if they don't, but shut, if you can call, if the, if they don't shut the fuck up, then that's when you, that's when you just really let them have it. Just throw them through the fucking uh, wall. No, I do not. Yeah, no, I do not think so. But well, yeah, if you could just, um, it sounds like you're a, hor a call, horrible, a and, horrible parent. Um, you're a terrible parent. No, I think you're terrible to break into somebody's car. Well, I didn't break in. I thought I was saving a life, so it wasn't my fault. At least I didn't break your window. That's what I did last uh, time. No, 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 no. So you're no. welcome. No, 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 no. You're welcome. So yeah, if you just could, um, my husband will probably be calling you back then. Yeah, because he's being a little bitch right now. He's not even picking up the phone. I I called him like three times. He's not picking up. Um, maybe he's not picking up because he works at a job. What jobs do you work at? Um, that's none of your business. Well, you brought it up. I was just but, just keeping the conversation yeah, going. Yeah, well, Jeez. so um, somehow we'll just um, 
get a hold of you. I noticed the kids are quieter. Did you kick them or did you just leave the room? No, actually, their father walked in the door. Oh, okay. Yeah, he knows so how to assert himself. Their He's, father. Yeah, yeah. He, he, they know to shut the fuck up when no. he comes in, probably. No. Because you know, he, he's, so my husband will be getting a hold of you. He knows how to parent. He knows how to do real parenting. Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. I left a note on your car. Yes. About Where the. Where did you hit me? I didn't see it. Well, uh, I was taking the battery out of your car because I needed a jump. And what? Uh, when I when I pulled the battery out of your car, I, I dropped it and it kind of hit the bumper and it scratched the front of the bumper. You were taking the battery out of my car. What were you taking the battery out of my car? What do you mean? I How just much? I needed a jump, and and I didn't have jumper cables, so I just took your battery and I set it on top of my battery where the terminals touched. Cause I didn't have, How did you do that? Um, you know, they were the same size, so that I just put your battery on top of my battery upside down. How did you get? How did you get into my car? Uh, I use I. You know, you can reach in there under the hood and you kind of pull the cable uh, as if you're hitting you the button. Fucking went, you went and uh, without my permission, you went into my car. Yeah, I just needed to jump. I put it back and I tightened up your cables and everything. How did how did you you can't open my hood from the outside can you Yeah yeah you know you get under the car there's a cable and you can just kind of pull on the so cable then You fucked my car up you went and you opened my hood without asking me Well it was That's an accident cool, dude. It was an accident Dude that, I'm I'm more pissed that you fucking got in my car without when you my property you went in my my hood without asking me Well Fuck. I I just I needed a jump I was stuck Dude I mean I you know what I'm saying but you just you get, you get cables you don't you don't uh you don't uh, uh, go into somebody's car without their permission. Okay, I just Whoa, I didn't man. I didn't have jumper cables, so I had to do so something. What? I don't call the fucking the tow truck, man. Well, I don't have money for a tow truck. I don't give a fuck, dude. Okay, seriously, well, you don't have to be an asshole about it. Fucking, uh-huh. You don't have to be an asshole about it. I'm just letting you, you know. Don't have to, dude, I, I catch you fucking going in my car. I'd beat your ass, dude. Yeah, well, you didn't catch me, did you? And I left a note. Fuck I did the you, right thing. Mother, hey. What? What? I will find you with this car. No, with, you with your phone number, dude. Oh, you won't find shit, motherfucker. Hey, fuck you, dude. Because I will come find out. Beat your fucking ass. Dude. I'd, I'd like to see you find me. Not even cool, dude. I hope you find me. We'll see what happens, won't we? Yeah. What kind of car do I got, then, dude? Oh, now you don't know what car, kind of car you got, dude. Just shut the fuck up, because you know what. What? Fucking faggot. Oh, you're a fucking fa- <laughs> Yeah. Uh, incidentally, I work over at the AutoZone, and uh, we sell batteries. I noticed yours is kind of low, and it has a dent in it. From what AutoZone it, you work at, dude? From where it hit your bumper, it's kind of it's got a dent in it, so you might want to... I, w- I will find out. Well, are you going to pay for my bumper? N- well, we've got new batteries for seventy nine ninety nine. Plus, you get a ten dollar uh, deposit refund on your old battery, even though it's damaged. So, if you'd like to come in, you know, we'll get you set up with the new where battery. At? Tell me where at. Eighty bucks. Or where set- is it? What AutoZone? Uh, it's the one nearby. Where's that at? Just come in and ask for Roy, motherfucker. So what are you? What are you saying? You took my battery out. But I put it back in. It's just damaged now. You know, I'm gonna go to the the, the city because they got that on tape. They got that, all that shit on tape. I know everybody works at cop shop. Uh, they're gonna ha- they're not gonna have me on tape taking your battery out. Yeah, they are. They got that whole area on tape. Oh dude. bullshit! No, they don't have shit. You fuck, if they don't. I don't think they do. They probably don't even run those cameras. It's probably pointless to even try that. Just quit calling me, dude. Because you're you're worthless. You're a worthless piece of shit. So quit calling. Well, me. I was trying to give you my insurance information, but you're being a dick. Okay. Yep, he's pretty much right. I'm completely worthless, but I'm okay with that. That's the end of prank calls for today, but we're going to be back next week or maybe even sooner with another whole 30 minutes or so of more pranks. Be sure to visit the archive of shows at worldofprankcalls.com and subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or whatever podcast app you use on Android. Today's background music is called The Hotline, and it's by The Pool Boys. And this is some more by El Hombre. El Hombre.